This is a level 3 tech question. Find the GCF, the greatest common factor, of 6,160, 3,960, and 1,260. So I'm going to write my three numbers. Give yourself lots of room to work. And then this one ends in a zero. The 6,160 ends in a zero, so it means that we can just factor out the 10 easily. So it's going to be 10 times 616. Okay, and 10 is 5 times 2. And 616 is 8 times 77. Okay, it ends in 16, so I know 4 what goes in. And I suspected that 8 went in because I know 8 goes into 200, so it's going to go into 200, 400, 600. So if 8 goes into 600 and it goes into 16, chances are it goes into 616. So factor that out. Anyhow, um, 8 is, of course, 4 times 2, and 4 is 2 times 2. Okay. Then 77 is 7 times 11, and I'm just going to bring down all the other primes. So 5, 2, and then my 11 and my 7. All right, 3,960. Um, once again, I'm going to factor out the 10. So it's 10 times 396. And 396 is, I know 11 goes into it, because notice 3 plus 6 equals 9. And when that happens, it's just going to be the first two numbers. I mean, not the first two numbers. The first number and the last number is 36 times 11. Okay, so 10 is 5 times 2, and 11 times 36 is promised. Uh, 36 is 6 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3, and 5. Just bring down all your other primes. There we go. 1,260 is ends in a 0, so it's 10 times 126. Now, see, the 11 trick doesn't work. 1 plus 6 is not 2. So um, 10 is 2 times 5, 126. Um, I know 9 goes into it, because 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 6 is 9, so I just divided it by 9 and I got 14. 14 is 2 times 7. Um, now I know I was, at my, I was at my last row here, so I just dragged them all down just to make these all level so it looks nicer. You don't have to do that sort of thing. 3 times 3 and 2 times 5. Okay, now we're going to go to our first tree. And we're going to, the first prime we come to is a 5. Is there a 5 common across the board? And there is. 5s. So we circle all the common 5s. So 5, 5, and 5. And then, is there a 2 common? Yep, there are 2 commons. 2's common, so we circle those. Are there, is there another 2 common? Yeah, so we circle those. Alright, is there another 2 common? Okay, there's one, there's one. No, oh, no more twos common. Um, is there a seven common? Okay, no, no sevens over here. We, even though we have a seven there, it has to be common to all three. Is there an eleven common? No, we have an eleven here, but there's no elevens here. Okay, so we're done with the commons. Okay, then all we have to do is take what we circled in the first tree, or what we circled in all the trees, but really just the first, just the three commons. So a 5 was common, a 2 was common, and a 2 was common. That's what we're going to multiply. 5 times 2 times 2. So that's 20. So the greatest common factor of these three numbers is 20. Okay? The biggest number that goes into all three is 20. And that's not very big. Okay? So just because you have huge numbers doesn't necessarily mean that the greatest common factor is going to be a huge number either. All right, and that's how you do the GCF. Have a good day.